One of the most fascinating parts about being an early adopter in any space is watching that space evolve. In crypto, we are still very early in the building stage and it seems like every day we witness the launching of new products and services that make navigating the crypto world a little bit easier. One product that I've been anxiously awaiting to get my hands on is a domain name from Unstoppable Domains. Now, the company Unstoppable Domains is not brand new and neither is domain registration services, but a recent update to their platform has made it very appealing to me and when you learn about how this applies to you, I know you will agree. Now, when you think about owning a domain name, the immediate association is usually using it for a website. And although domains through Unstoppable can be used for websites, the real value that you're gonna see in a minute goes well beyond that. Just put it this way, one day, everyone will have a personal domain name associated to them. And so the best time to lock in yours is right now. And also right now is the best time to hit that like button and subscribe to the channel because today, I'm gonna do a comprehensive review of Unstoppable Domains and an easy to follow tutorial on how to manage their services. By the end of this video, you'll know why Unstoppable Domains is actually pretty cool and how to set up your properties with their platform. So let's jump in. So we're all familiar with the concept of a domain name. And traditionally, that need has usually been reserved for a business or an organization. But in the Web3 world, that is all changing. Your personal domain name will become more increasingly important over time. But right now, if you own any crypto or plan to own any crypto, your personal domain name is a must have item. And this is because one of the key features of a domain name through Unstoppable Domains is the ability to replace your crypto wallet address with your domain name. If you've ever had to send someone crypto or if you've had to transfer crypto from one wallet to another, then you're familiar with the long string of characters that is your wallet address. And although your wallet address is unique to you, in my opinion, it comes with a couple of important setbacks. The first being the errors that can arise from entering a person's address incorrectly. I mean, keying one character wrong and your funds could be lost, lost in, space. in space forever. forever. But secondly, your regular wallet address is just not sexy. I mean, it doesn't capture your personal identity in any way. And as humans, we love to communicate our personal flair anytime we get a chance. I mean, this is why the DMV distributes vanity license plates or a business may try to add a phrase to their phone number or better yet, it's the same reason why domain names were introduced for websites in the first place. I mean, giving someone 255.158.1.47 is just not as appealing or memorable as just having them type in amazon.com. So when you register your domain and set up your wallets with unstoppable domains, you have the same opportunity to tell someone to just send your funds to dodgerfan.wallet instead of your super long wallet address. And as crypto continues to be widely adopted, sending funds back and forth between wallets will become even more normal than it already is. And other uses of your personal domain name will become even more relevant. In fact, that's already happening. I mean, another emerging way personal domain names are being used is in the gaming space. Games built on the blockchain are now giving users the ability to own in-game items and characters as NFTs. So just imagine for a moment that hypothetically speaking, you could own Luigi from Super Mario Brothers. And so whether you decide to play World of Warcraft or the new Call of Duty, you could use your Luigi character in that game environment. And again, instead of Luigi being identified by some long string address, other players could recognize you as GamerGeek.Crypto. And this is just the beginning. And so even if you're not a gamer, this just highlights that there will be important uses for personal domains in the future and securing yours now could be a responsible move. Now, I want to take a moment to answer the question, why register your domain with unstoppable domains? 
To really understand the answer, I think it's important to first understand what makes a domain like the ones Unstoppable offers different than a domain you could just purchase through like GoDaddy or something. So to avoid boring you with all of the technicalities, the main difference you need to know is that the domain offered through Unstoppable Domains is an NFT. So just like those profile avatars you may have seen on social media, your domain is an NFT. So this means it's a unique one of one item that once purchased, you own forever. There's no need for renewal or any renewal cost ever. This also means that you fully own the domain. So if you want to turn around and sell it for a million dollars tomorrow, you have that right. Now, for you to fully use your domain, you'll need to mint your domain. And this basically means that you need to create a record of ownership on the blockchain. Now, you may or may not know, but there are many blockchains out there. But currently, there are only a few that are really known for transacting NFTs. And then there's really only one that stands leaps and bounds above the rest, and that is the Ethereum blockchain. So if you've seen the news stories about, you know, the crypto punks or bored apes that have exchanged hands for millions of dollars, those transactions have happened on the Ethereum blockchain. In regards to NFTs, Ethereum is the most widely used and in a way holds the records for the most valuable NFTs in the world. And the reason why that matters is that it communicates that Ethereum is not going anywhere. So if you mint a domain on Ethereum, it will likely be around for generations and generations. Unstoppable Domains allows you to mint on Ethereum, but they also compete with another service called ENS.Domains, and ENS stands for Ethereum Name Service. Both Unstoppable and ENS are great solutions if you want to mint your domain on Ethereum, but currently, Ethereum has one major issue, their gas problem. You see, when you transact on Ethereum, a gas fee is charged. It's kind of like, you know, the transaction fee. And right now, gas could cost you, you know, three, four hundred dollars to complete a transaction. And, you know, that's not horrible when you consider you'll have this domain forever. But in my opinion, there's a better way. Unstoppable domains allows you to also mint through the Polygon network. Polygon is a layer two solution for Ethereum. And basically what that means is it's built on top of Ethereum to relieve congestion on the Ethereum network. For you and me, using Polygon is like minting on Ethereum without paying the crazy gas fees. In fact, right now, there are zero gas fees. Once you pay for your domain through Unstoppable, which starts at $20, that's it. The minting portion is free. So getting started with Unstoppable is actually really easy. On their homepage, you can begin with searching for your domain. You'll notice that there are a few extensions to choose from. I chose .wallet, but I'm definitely debating going back to purchase a couple other extensions. Adding your domain to the cart and checkout is pretty straightforward, but I do like how Unstoppable allows you to use credit card, PayPal, and crypto for payment. Once your transaction is complete, you can go to the My Domain section to see your domain. At this point, your domain is registered, but it's not minted. And for you to have full decentralized custody of your domain, you'll need to go through the minting process. Now, as I mentioned, you can mint through Ethereum or Polygon, but since I want to avoid those insane gas fees, I'll be minting through Polygon. To do this, I'll be using MetaMask, a popular Ethereum wallet to connect to the Polygon network. You can download the app or use the MetaMask browser extension, but once launched, you need to connect to the Polygon network. By default, MetaMask is connected to the Ethereum network. To connect to Polygon, you'll need Polygon's RPC gateway information. So I recommend you Google search something like Polygon RPC to get this info. You can then update MetaMask by opening the wallet, clicking the menu icon, and then choosing settings. Next, choose networks and then choose add network. Here, update the fields with the RPC information you found through your Google search. Once you hit add, you should automatically connect to Polygon. However, if not, you can click the wallet button at the top of your screen and then choose Polygon from the list. Now, from here, you can launch the in-app browser and enter unstoppabledomains.com to reach their website. Sign into the website 
and then go to the my domain section to your to get to your domains find the domain in the list and then hit the purple mint button follow the steps that proceeds and then and then you're done the minting process can take a few minutes so just be patient to start receiving crypto to that domain, you'll need to update your domain name with the proper addresses. So for example, if you would like to receive Bitcoin to that domain, you'll need to add your Bitcoin address. And this goes for any of the other supported cryptocurrencies as well. Currently, Unstoppable supports over 200 cryptos. And so to see a list of all those coins, um, you can go to their frequently asked questions section and find the, the link that says what cryptocurrencies are currently supported. I think it's cool that besides Ethereum tokens, your domain can also receive Binance, uh, Binance Smart Chain tokens, Cardano, Algorand, and many other coins from popular blockchains. Now to add your crypto addresses, hit the manage button for the domain you would like to update and then find the crypto on the list. If you don't see it, hit the add currency button and then just search for it in the list. Some tokens like BUSD will have a few options and that's really based on which blockchain actually issued the token. For BUSD, I'm going to add my BEP20 address, which is for the Binance Smart Chain. Once I hit confirm change, my domain record gets updated. And just a little heads up, while your domain records are being updated, you won't be able to make any changes, but it only takes a couple of minutes. So again, just be patient. So once you have your crypto addresses set up, you're ready to begin receiving funds to that address. To do this, you'll need to send from a supported wallet. Um, currently, there are about currently there are almost a hundred supported wallets, but around 56 of them can actually be used to send crypto. To see the current list, just go to the application section of their website. You can also filter your results to only see wallets that allow you to pay a domain. So I've been using Trust Wallet for a while, so that's kind of my wallet of choice. Now, unfortunately, Trust Wallet for iOS currently does not support the pay a domain option when you mint your domain through Polygon. Uh, this is a bit frustrating in my opinion, but domain management through Polygon is really new and just launched. And so my hope is that in the near future, we will have that capability. In the meantime, you can use an Android device to pay a domain through Trust Wallet, and it's actually really easy. You'll just need to choose a crypto that you have already set up. So in my case, I could choose BUSD or Ethereum. Next, hit send, and then enter your domain address where you would normally enter your wallet address. And that's it. So having a domain name in place of your wallet address is very, very convenient. As I mentioned, it's easier to communicate to someone else and it gives you the ability to identify yourself in a unique way. All in all, I, I'm pleased with Unstoppable Domains. Their pricing is great and the process is very simple. My only gripe with them is the fact that I could not use my Trust Wallet app on iPhone and had to use an Android device. I mean, I have no problem using an Android device, but nowhere on their site or Trust Wallet site does it make it clear that iOS is unsupported at this time. I was actually forced to reach out to customer service and wait two days to get this information. But even still, I am happy with my domain and I am excited for what the future may bring with domain ownership. If you decide to register a domain with Unstoppable Domains, please consider using the link below in the description. Using the link helps out the channel and I'd really appreciate it. But please let me know your thoughts. I mean, what do you think about owning an NFT domain? I mean, do you think it's a great idea or do you think it's a waste of time? Please let me know in the comments. Also, have you used Unstoppable Domains? If you have, please share your experience below in the comments as well. And lastly, I want to thank you for your time. Your time is important to me, so I do hope you found value and until next time.